So welcome to the uh, Absin booth at ISE 2025 here in Barcelona. And here you have a huge screen. Absolutely, what is this? yeah, absolutely. So this is a collaboration that we have. The theme of our stand this year is immersive experiences. And so we have an amazing collaboration with the Turkish artist Refik Anadol. And here we are showing off. He's apparently a, a world-renowned artist, uh, very famous and uh, a specialist in digital artwork. So we are absolutely delighted to have uh, his artwork being shown on this screen this year. What's the resolution? So the resolution of the screen is 16 million pixels in the screen. So it's roughly 8 meters by 12 meters. Uh, and it's a P1.2. So it's like so the, sorry. twice the resolution of a 4K or something like that? Exactly, exactly. It will be two 4Ks, one on top of the other. In fact, a little bit more than that, in fact. Uh, the concept of the artwork is hallucinations of the Californian landscapes where Mr. Anadol lives. Nice. Uh, is it in a loop or is it generated? It's generated. It's, it's uh, generated content. Is it generated based on people looking no. at it? No, 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 no. It's generated over, I don't know exactly what, um, what parameters are, are set for that. Uh, but this is set on, so uh, really, as a, an LED brand, we make extremely good screens, but they are simply digital canvases, right? And a canvas is only as good as the artwork that's shown on that screen. So one of the things that we've tried to do this year is exactly that, to, to show off our screen in the correct way, which is through amazing content. At the same time, it is important that the screen itself is... Is it the specs? Uh, it's the, these are the specs of the screen. So we can see here as well that this is chip on board technology. So if we go a little bit closer, we can see that it has a resin coating over the top. You can knock the screen, you can hit the screen. That has a certain protection to it. It's an 800 nit screen. And in fact, even the heat generated off the screen is very, very low. And although the screen is made up of smaller panels, as LED displays are, actually you can see that this just looks like one enormous canvas. It's very difficult to spot the joins in that. And that's a very difficult thing to do with chip on board technology. So this is our latest generation in that case. And this is unique in the world? Or is it these just brand new, it's coming these out? These parameters are unique to us. Uh, and you were very, very hard pushed at the whole fair to find a screen with such uh, smoothness as this and where you cannot see any of the joins and with such high contrast ratio. So this screen has a 15,000 to one contrast ratio and that does make it world leading. How many, uh, how many customers are going to buy this and put it <laughs> around the world? That's a very good question. So. Um, one of the biggest questions that I get, so I, I'm in quite a retail background, one of the biggest questions that I get is, what's the return on investment if I buy a screen and I put a screen in, in a certain location? And the answer to that question is, it depends entirely on what you do with that screen and how you use that screen. And what you need to do is leave a lot of the budget available for the content creation, because the key to all of these installations is the content that's shown on the screen. And uh, this is uh, it's so awesome. Oh, thank you. And you need to have a big house to put it on the front, <laughs> no, right? It is spectacular, isn't it? Well, this type of display, for example, in a shopping mall or in a lobby uh, in a hotel, we can certainly see that this application would be there. Of course, this exact same technology can also be used in retail. It can be used in corporate. It can be used in uh, control rooms. It can be used in a lot of different scenarios. So we see this technology not just limited to more, a more creative vertical, but for, for lots of different verticals as well. Do you work with megapixel on the processing or different? Sometimes. I couldn't tell you. Ah, you can't uh, say. You're gonna yeah, say. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you have some processing going on in there. Exactly. Correct. All right. And let's let's walk over. Yeah. There. Let's move over to the more. We've called this a creative retail section. Yeah. And what we're noticing, I'll go. I'll, I'll go back to the point again. That content is the king with all these. And to create a nice interactivity is a difficult thing to do. Um, and when you're looking to create an interactivity, it's a shame when it's not intuitive and you have to have people saying, come, come over here, come and try this. In this case, we can see that it's a super intuitive. Uh, it's an infrared field. We have a collaboration with a German manufacturer called Amiria. It's really awesome. And you can see this is this... a goalkeeper training. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But it could be anything. It could be anything. And what's nice about this is when I place my hand in, you can see that it actually looks like my hands on there. Ah, oh, that's so cool. And if I'd like to put my head in, and you can see my Whoa. head in there as well. So what that actually makes it very intuitive because that's uh, the Wii on steroids. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Basically, yes, exactly. 
So when we're talking about interactivities, there are different ways that we can do that. We could put an infrared frame around the screen itself. The issue there being, if this was, for example, a school and we're showing a PowerPoint presentation, I can't physically reach the corners of the screen. Right. But with an apparatus like this, I can reach every part of the screen and I can control the screen that way. Nice. So this is kind of a fun thing that we're showing off this year. All right. Perhaps we can move around to... And what, what's the specification of the screen here? So, so this is a P1.8 and this is an SMD. So if I run my hand over it, I know that's hard to see, but as I run my hand over it, it doesn't have the protective coating over the top. So this is more for environments where there won't be people brushing by and there won't be too much contact with the screen. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Nice. I think we're going to move around that side. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah. Let's move around there. You show all this stuff to a lot of people here at the ISC 2025? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, been, it's been hectic, it's been manic. No, but it's wonderful. And this is again, so it's a similar line to the Refic Analog screen that we saw before. This is a chip on board. But what we're showing off this year is, for the first time, we're showing a 4K P0.7 136 inch all-in-one. Now when we call something an all-in-one it perhaps is a little bit deceptive because it doesn't come as one piece. Because obviously if this was one piece you would struggle to get this even into the conference room or even into the lift to be able to do that. So it's LED so it's modular. We have 600 millimeter wide modules, 337 millimeters tall and two people can set up this screen in two hours. And here we have created a 4K 136 inch. At uh, two hours, you need to be super professional or anybody can oh, they need to be No, 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 they need to be trained professionals to be able to do this. They need to wear gloves. Uh, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's not just simply hanging it on the wall. Yeah. And then you need to calibrate everything? No, 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 the screen is calibrated in the factory. So the only work that needs to be done is, is setting up the panels, cabling up the panels together, which is a relatively simple thing to do. And uh, how good is the quality of the screen? How well, good is the quality? <laughs> that's a very hard thing to explain, isn't it? But I think you can see with your own eyes here that P0.7 in the industry um, is spectacular. It's, um, it's about as good as mature LED gets. And here it says a built-in A-Core SOC. Uh, what is this SOC? What do you do? Okay, so an SOC is a system on chip, but that's talking more about how the content is reproduced on that. So actually, this is a very good, a very good point you make. One of the key uh, things that we're doing, the collaborations that we have this year, are with companies like Crestron and companies like Yeelink, which uh, facilitate how to get the content up on there. Okay, so when we have a meeting, you don't want to get to the meeting, have a load of cables on the table, plug in your laptops. It needs to be very intuitive and it needs to work very fast. Nice. Is this a great way to do video conferencing? Absolutely it is. Absolutely 4K. it is. You could, it's 4K. And not only that, you can imagine you could have 40 different windows and 40 faces on there and I think that's uh, th it's a very good a very good option and everybody for everybody can conference. look life size exactly correct correct it's cool and on a similar line we can move over to more to the control room part of things so we have a collaboration with data path here so there uh, what is possible to control what's happening and then what could happen here who could be the customer for this kind of product okay so uh, control rooms mostly yeah so we have here, for example, a, a rail system, airport system, uh, transport systems, where they need to have real-time information, see in detail what's happening, be able to expand certain areas to see in detail what's happening there as well. And Scotland Yard? Well, I'm joking. Well, well, uh, the, well, well, the rocket launch company? Exactly, all those kinds of things. And let's just say as well, in, in China, control rooms are, are popular as well. Right, this is cool. All right, uh, so that, that was... Uh, uh, and the interaction with the software, how it goes there, there's companies working on that, partners? Exactly, this is our partner Datapath who uh, can provide their expertise on, on that side. All right, cool. So that was the whole tour? That was it, yeah. All right. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you. Uh, please, if you get the opportunity to come and see us, do so. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen.